Ooh, all of the upstairs are in the same place in this map. Interesting. The Malayalaya, or whatever those are called. Dang it. I was hoping the shapeshifter wouldn't change off of that because they count as a heretic priest, I'm pretty sure, even if they are a shape changer. Should probably just approach the centaur. Basic centaur isn't going to be too much of a trouble for us here. But also, I regretted saying that immediately because that kind of talk is how we lost our last telework. Let's play safe here. No need to run towards enemies when they're in unexplored territory, right? I'm scared of people coming out of that door right there, but still totally manageable here. Splitting the enemies up, a few at a time. Been barbed, so I guess we'll just hang out on the spot. There we go. Oh, I see this is a cool little... I'm guessing this is our depth's entrance. I like the, the altar shrine. Very cool. Sad that orc warrior didn't join us. I swear they would have been much happier. Damage reflect should be fine when they're that low health. Perfect, and that's another heretic priest, so definitely take the PD there. Glad we found javelins as our new solution to hydros as well, so we no longer are wasting too much piety in that regard. Oof. Take out these dangled coffins right away and get rid of that play effect, because that can definitely be a wee bit sketchy. And let's use some of these identify scrolls. We'll be carrying them around for a while. If we don't start using them up. Unfortunately, a necklace of guardian spirit, probably not quite as useful for us as the amulet of faith. I do really enjoy being able to fluctuate in faith levels with uh, Bo here. There's sometimes when you need just a whole lot of smites queued end to end in order to take care of a bad problem. But everything is going fairly well. I'm not sharing very much experience with my group, which is maybe a bad thing. Hmm. I'm just so scared of losing, but that's life, I guess. Sometimes you just have to risk the things you love. Okay, I will stop using F period and start throwing through now that there are two enemies that we can potentially hit with each throw. Beautiful. Because the other thing is, if I do want to bring anyone with me, like if I head upstairs here, I could bring my best troop. Oh, do you want this isn't even my best troop besides Marba is just one of our named so I'm gonna just stop the recall here and let's head in with three knights we should be able to keep three knights alive as a team here so I'll take that and hopefully get a name on some of these bad boys step out of the range of fire for my friends there I don't want this fire dragon torching them these fire dragon scales are something we could give to a follower if they already have a solid weapon at their disposal, so keep that in mind here. And try to not let any of our friends chop heads off this hydra. Fortunately, Glaive Buddy can attack through us. They might actually chop heads now that I think about it, so maybe that wasn't quite so gratuitous, but... This is going all right. I'm going slowly, mostly to keep my friends alive here. Manage to. Not too shabby. Another tower shield as well. Might be a bit easier to grab this one than the other in the future. Just saves us a few turns at the very least. And these, this is an awesome place for training up my buddies. They're constantly able to just hide behind me. Oh, and then we got teleported or blinked or something okay none of my friends are in danger none of my friends are in danger keep it up this is okay now friends are starting to get endangered the second they start making progress on their own towards enemies is when we start being a sweet bit concerned for their health but 
Well done, team. Holy moly. Ooh, boulder beater. Boulder brutal. Not too shabby. Finally, some more heal wounds potions as well. And sadly short on those. Hello, Simulacran and Tengu. I guess the Tengu, yeah, is probably going to come across the gap. Should have seen that coming. Oh, crap. Hit, hit. Everyone, get the heck out of those clouds, please. Nobody lose your life today, please. I've been trying so hard to keep you alive. Um, the item here is a Ring of Wizardry. We'll definitely ignore that. I won't be worried too much about spellcast in here. So the Ice Giant is another one that will hurt our friends. So I'm going to step to the side here. Protect friends at all costs. And how are we doing? Oh, Thorok. We have another named buddy. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, I hope this buddy converts on death. Oh, that's unfortunate. But on a kind of more fortunate note, Marba just got gifted some armor from BO. We're in a plus one chainmail now. That's awesome. Something that, yeah, keep in mind, even though we can only gift one thing, BO can continually give our friends better and better things here. So definitely can give a little fist pump for that. Holy cow, bunch of crap lying around here. The Amulet of Vitality. Ooh, so we'd get plus 15 health and health regeneration. It's kind of tempting, but still don't think it quite holds the candle to the Amulet of Faith, at least in a short three-run game here where we just want... Just want to smite, man. Hydra pal. Hey, friends, don't stand next to Hydras, please. Perfect. We will give Thorok a weapon here pretty soon, but we're so close to finishing off this uh, floor that I thought we might as well. Also, turns out the stairs to the depths is just in this like random side corridor. It's not in this sick castle, but I did like this floor design a lot. It's nice to get in any of the randomly generated maps or vault maps that have those like treasure vaults at the end. Can always hope for some goodies. And let's do some inventory clearing. I'm going to drop the rings that we no longer use. I think I have kind of decided to just drop the extra armor class for this Slay Scene Viz ring. Maybe regrettable in the future. We'll have to see. And what else do I want to clear up here? Because it is time to head either into vaults we're into depths here. Should head into vaults, I think. They're fairly close in difficulty, but we're almost at 6 PD, so I think it's a half decent time to head towards vaults, maybe run into St. Roca, maybe get a body that we can resurrect this time around. We'll have to see. But most importantly here, let's look up whole arm. And we'll do a quick skim through. Hmm. Bardishas have really high base damage. And it is plus five. Kind of torn between this and the Vampiric Glaive, though. I might go with the Vampiric Glaive, even if just to give Thorok a little bit more survivability here. Let's do it. Sure is nice not having food to worry about anymore. Doing all these trips, I'd constantly have to stop and eat food in the previous version. So, that's pretty handy. But... I'm gonna take this trident for now, and let us go to the entrance of vaults, wherever that may be. Okie dokie, and then let's recall two. Oh nice, Thorok is there. Beautiful. Stop recall. Because I'm going to take this group around with me at least a wee bit here to start out. But before I do so, give item to named follower Thorok, my friend. You are not carrying a shield. 
glad I double checked that real quick in my head here. So we will give you this vampiric glaive. That will be very sick. So now we have three polearm wielding buddies. Heck yeah. But I do want to be a bit careful here because this is where we died last time in vaults. So it's time to get a bit of redemption here. I'm going to smite the Convoker right away. I'm actually probably going to smite the Convoker again just to clear the air a bit. And then, oh my gosh, we're converting left and right here. Um, dang. As sick as it is to convert some new knights here, especially getting a knight specifically. Oh, I might have said knight both times there. Whoops, bit of a farting slip, but uh, having a crowd this big just makes it more likely that I'm going to get someone killed is how I kind of feel about things here. Okay, with Rampage, oh, I thought I could close a bit faster than that, but it still worked out. Didn't quite get the draw off. I want to say Convocation, but that's not what my brain is trying to fill in there, because that's that's a graduation ceremony, not the, the ritual you use to draw your friends towards you. Oh, crap. Hello. <laughs> Locked off from my friends, you son of a gun. Give me back my friends. Mostly because I want them to have experience. It's not like I'm even worried about taking on the world here. Okay, another enchant weapon scroll, but at this point, not quite as uh, useful for us. We're maxed out. But we got an orc warrior here that has a halberd to start off, which is pretty sweet, because I'm hoping that if we can keep them alive, and if we find good spots for all of our really nice polearm weapons, anyone with a one-handed polearm by default, we can hand them like a really good shield or something, which would be pretty sick, because again, we're looking for survivability here. If we can keep our buddies alive, we'll be in a happy spot in our lives. I was waiting there for just after saying buddies survive. I was waiting for that Cyclops to miss us with a rock and for the rock to just demolish that poor base level orc. But hey, it's their lucky day today. Apparently, they're going to survive. That rampage is very nice. Closing the distance on wizards. Ooh, and on these buddies. Okay, still got the... You know what? I need to right click. Word of Recall, it doesn't even have Invocation or anything in the title. Turns out I'm just a fool. Well, this is a dangerous situation. It's about to get full, like, melee here. So, let's be proactive. Run away, orc friends, please. Please. They're not running away. Hmm. Huh. Things are gonna get real nasty real quick. Maybe I shouldn't care so much about them and should have just brought them out into the melee. What does this knight have? Another ruined bardiche. Oh, I can't even see what it does yet. I thought that was auto-identified. How strange. Huh. But, okay, what's dangerous here? Necromancer. Definitely. Should have been swinging at the Necromancer. I'm pretty sure I was just standing still, not doing anything for some time there, waiting for my buddies to back up, which is not a good move. Why are they not backing up? Oh, but I'm actually happy with this. Oh, all tabbed out by accident. There we go. This Orc Knight, I don't care about as much, so we're going to step back and switch places with you, buddy. I hope the rest of my army is still alive. Oh crap. Just got brought through that door. Right. Should've known that would happen with the vault ward in here. That makes sense. So, options here. Do I want to just start recalling my army? Duke it out? We might lose some decent soldiers in the mix. But we will survive. I believe. No guarantee on that, I guess. Let's do it. 
We may lose some good souls here. But it's gonna be fun, I was gonna say. Oh my gosh, then we got flayed. Um, hmm. New options. So I can blink behind my buddies here. I could also just take a step. But I am worried. Don't want to throw away our life too recklessly here. Let's double check for reach weapons. Um, any kind of bolt attack that can hit through us. We could get flayed, but that will never kill us. Okay, so we switch down. And we should be recalling still, so we'll be filling out the area around us with friends. Because I think I'm actually going to take... A potion of ambrosia is what I was debating here. Because it will allow us to regain health uh, while just standing still. We won't be able to help our friends. But we'll do something. Um, new plan. I'm smiting the flayed ghost because if we can get rid of that buddy we should pop some of our health back it does look like we're going to lose some orc knights here but that is a sacrifice i'm willing to make so destroy the flayed ghost to get a bit of health back on our end here and now let's focus on regaining control safely don't want to lose any more friends here I wish I could really micromanage my buddies, get them to swap out and stuff, but... Honestly, they should be okay. Giving a few last thoughts to any potential panic buttons we want to press now. Because this is where we want to make our decisions. Let's not find ourselves one hit away from death before we start randomly clicking, shall we? So I might actually stop recalling. So I don't want to bring in any more really weak followers. Probably it takes a turn to hand someone something, right? I'm very tempted to hand Moran here. Oh my gosh, wearing plate armor, cold resistance, and has an arbalist? You're sick, man. I was debating giving them this trident, but I might actually just try and keep them alive and hand off, like, this Bardisha Flaming. Something, something two-handed, potentially, because they have an Arbalist, a two-handed ranged weapon, so Bo is never going to gift them a shield. Well... Last thing to keep in mind, or to take into account here, is do I want to smite anyone? The answer is yes. I'm going to smite that Vault Warden just a smidge. I wish we actually had more smiteable effects, just so that we could um, attack past our friends here. You know, if I take a Potion of Ambrosia, start to heal up a bit here, the second we need to jump into action, we do want to drop a curing potion. What hit us there? I want to check this. Doo -doo -doo. The orc knight hits us from afar. Oh, we were in range oh, of this buddy and this buddy. Dang it. I chose the wrong place to confuse myself. So we're drinking a potion of curing now because I am a fool. And we are getting pinched, too, from both sides. Keeping an eye. The boulder beetle shouldn't be too dangerous. I don't think they'll start the roll unless they're able to get to us specifically. So should be safe there. They at least won't gain any momentum. But yeah, you're demons. I believe. I have faith. So let's just step back here, shall we? <laughs> Run away ourselves. Oh, it turns out the boulder beater will roll to attack our friends, but not much of a, a danger there at the very least. And I am going to smite the vault warden, help out a little bit. Okay, we lost a couple of good souls, orc knight and 
Oh, I thought I lost two. Maybe they just took a step back or forward or <laughs> somewhere. But nice job, team. They're all clearing the back end, no problem here. That sorcerer does seem to be able to fight. That elf. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, I'm leaving them to do their stuff. They got it. Perfect. Don't think I've lost too many soldiers here again. Gets tough when we call them all to us. Not keeping quite as close track of who is here. Let's hide ourselves and let the team finish the job. Beautiful. Whoa, Murdo. I keep seeing more names pop up here. Everyone's getting names in this fight. That is very sick. Oh, more enemies. Whoops. But I do want to pop up here and gonna drop this ring of flight. Oh, geez. A bunch more enemies. In fact, there's this convoker. Oh, that's why I wanted to say convocation earlier. Finally solved my own riddle there. Not too shabby. Pick up this bardiche. Let us do... Gift item to named follower and more on here. It's gonna take this Bardish of Flaming. Attaboy. And what else was here? A plus three halberd. Hmm. I could try and brand something before handing it off to someone. I'm happy with my current brand here. Okay, let's do it. Yaks versus orcs. Who win what? Oh gosh, we're gonna lose <laughs> Moron immediately after naming and giving him all of our crap. What the heck were you carrying? This Yaktar had something weird in their hand. Oh. Triple crossbow. Plus four triple crossbow of got sex? Questionable naming there. Sure, it's totally random. <laughs> Weirdly enough, it is, but that's hilarious. But that is interesting. Oh no, because this might also... I don't know if this is an artifact or an unrandart. Or a randart. Maybe we'll never know. A triple crossbow with penetration effect is pretty sweet. Could definitely melt enemies, but it's not something this character is especially interested in, unfortunately. Murdo sounds like an orc got upset. He couldn't just be named Murder, so he had to do, yeah. Speaking of Murdo, where the heck are you, bud? You're there. Let's give Murdo this trident, shall we? There we go, starting to truly get our pole-armed uh, battalion together here. Which is pretty sweet. Also had our first panic moment of vaults. Always fun. But hopefully, that's the worst of it, even though no way taking that as a guarantee Ooh, I can only see this buddy through the glass wall. Okay. We want to smite this son of a gun as soon as we can, because this is another mutating enemy. That can be a real pain in the butt here. So I'm going to stand here and get riddled or slammed on by this slime for a couple of turns, but I think it was worth it in the end. And then we're just going to smite the Bogart to get rid of all those summoned mobs as well. I was about to say I wish this sorcerer would switch off with someone who can actually help, and they did just that. Um, perfect. I guess I should have stepped forward instead of just letting my minions finish the job, but I want to watch it happen, you know? Oh, and that little arbalist vault. It's too bad we didn't find the damnation arbalist in there. That could have been fun. Even though, again, not something we actually are interested in using, so maybe not. But this group is very awesome, but a bit large for my tastes. So I think we're going to take everyone into a nice open area where you can all hear me show. Tell you all to just chill. Let's find a different stairwell and do the usual recall trick. I think I will take kind of top grass here. That works perfectly. Stop the recall there. We have two orcs to give names, three orcs to promote. No problems in my book. Hmm, Crystal Guardian, eh? 
Definitely want to fight them in this corridor if possible. Don't do that, buddy. Oh, why you step out like that? You're just putting yourself at risk, my friend. I guess I'll switch places with you and put myself at risk instead. Ooh, and stand here so that bolt attacks and whatnot don't kill all of them. Much better. Fact, beautiful, nobody died. It's always a, a win in my book for sure. And same here, another enemy where we have to be slightly careful of bolt attacks. Not too bad. Also back up to five pits of piety there, because we definitely had gone down just a wee bit. And not too bad, I'm walking towards enemies. I just caught myself doing one of my foolish overconfident thing that I do once we get to this point in the run. So, let's recognize our problem. Take steps to avoid making the same mistakes, shall we? Don't always have to charge in. I guess sometimes we do. If they're ranged enemies, they might kill our friends as they start charging in. Ooh. Getting some friends joining us here as well. I kind of wish the sorcerer joined us, but take what we can get, I guess. Especially like, getting an orc knight is no small feat. Oh, and we did get you converted on last hit. But you're real low, so you're probably going to die. Let's try our best to prevent that, shall we? Because an orc sorcerer is a really nice get at this point. Come on, just survive a couple more turns. Yes. The sorcerer lives. This is definitely looking like a pretty solid crew to be rolling around vaults with. Don't need to pick up any of those items, so we'll just ignore them for now. Did I? No, my orc just ran in front of me as I opened the door, I see. <laughs> it's very confused for a brief moment there, but figured it out. Ooh. Scared about bolts there for a moment, but not too shabby. It would be nice to get a priest too for healing. Ooh, that is a good point. Yeah, definitely not familiar enough with Yo to have that strategy in mind, so thank you for mentioning that. Hmm. I wish it was, again, a little bit easier to micromanage because I can do some, like, clumsy broad work with trying to group certain orcs and only take certain ones down, but it is a bit tricky to try and specify orc by type to follow us like that. Also, most of these buddies are summoned, right? Oh, are you not? Yes, you are summoned. Where is your leader? Is it the orc mage? I guess. Hmm. I don't think it is. Let's do a quick scout of what the heck happened here. Because I'm guessing one of the bogarts blinked away. Maybe. Just maybe. Bogart blinks. We've only killed one bogart. No, we've killed two. Who summoned you? Need to take a step forward, maybe, to figure it out. Was it you? Oh, yeah, I did actually see a slight highlight as I moused over the purple ugly thing. So there we go, to get rid of those monsters. And this is a fight we can probably take, especially with this kind of side crew doing some of our work for us in the bottom. Are losing some of our plain orcs. Oh, and sorcerer, don't go front lines, you madman. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> I really would prefer if our sorcerer just hung out far back summoning demons. That would be real nice of them. And beautiful to see another requirement scroll. Let's take a peek here. Oh, unfortunately, not quite as incredible of a uh, scroll here. It's almost tempting. If this was a longer game, and we were going further than three runes. It'd be tempting to take the manual crossbows because we could potentially use that to get that uh, plus four triple crossbow actually usable. But probably not this game. I'm gonna stick to the shield. So it's just gonna have to be the gold pieces, I think. Almost no chance we'll need more gold. We're already sitting at a nice little piggy bank, but it at least doesn't take up an inventory slot. 
So we'll pop that buddy on. Don't bolt attack my friends. Perfect. Have I lost that many of my warlords and stuff? Or did I lose them in the more uh, innocent fashion? Did they get shot from behind while I was not paying attention? Oh my gosh. Okay, I might have to find some stairs <laughs> and see what the heck happened to some of our friends here because this is very unfortunate. So let's just start recalling and make sure we recall absolutely everybody. Okay, Moron, no, you're still alive. Oh, Bogfried, hello. More and more names. Love to see it. Well, we may or may not have lost someone important. Hmm, it's kind of hard to tell. But we still have a nice crew, so not too worried about it either. I'm going to tell everyone to guard here. I'm going to head to a different stairwell. Let's do the same. Kind of quick recall work. Um, you know, yeah, I'll just take these three. Let's stop recalling. It's just these three and I'll take it. Nice to give Bogfried a few more levels here. Ooh, and we got marked, so let's just stand on these stairs. Moron says, I'm so glad I met you. Oh, thanks, Moron. I'm glad I met you too, bud. So sweet. And that looks like everyone who will be coming to us here. We already cleared most of this area of the floor, so that marked, I guess, isn't the end of the world. And things are going all right so far. I much prefer this more standard vaults layout where it's all uh, these small rooms kind of spread out throughout. Because whenever I see the special vaults, like that spiral one we saw on Elder Hopi the First, that stuff truly scares me. But these, it makes it so that I feel so many of the enemies kind of stay within their chambers so you do just go room to room clearing out slowly much more manageable than some of the chaos find how much oh i thought that boulder beetle would hurt a bit more but maybe they missed me as well if only there were a text log that would explicitly tell me exactly what happened oh well i guess we keep moving Ooh, lots of magic mapping scrolls in the last little bit too we're up to nine no complaints. And we'll keep it moving. Let's not get any stones thrown through us and at our friends. Beautiful. It's definitely I'm noticing a pretty huge improvement just on having the axe here. Because on our first attempt, we had to switch over to an evening star, but. It is really nice having the cleave damage when we have the group at our back as well. Definitely leads to some impressive results here. This is a beautiful corridor to fight in, especially when the boulder beetle just blinks into the middle of my army. Don't think that was a great choice on your end, friend, but again, no complaints for me. Where were those gauntlets? There we go. Use an identify scroll on these, since we have them to spare. And plus two pair of gloves. Our poison, an extra point of will, and see invisible at the cost of int minus five. Int minus five, not too bad, except we only have eight int, which means if we get stat drained, there's a chance that we become too stupid to survive. And I think I have a asphyxiation. My guess is if you're too stupid to live, you forget to breathe. Maybe. But I don't think we'll make the switch to those. It is stat uh, decreases are definitely more of an issue in the late game, but they can still happen at this stage for sure. So I think for me that kind of falls into the better safe than sorry camp. Okay, these little Raiju buddies are another bolt enemy that can kind of go through us and might injure our buddies, so let's be careful with that. You no longer instantly die with less than zero in a stat? That's good, at the very least. That's a solid improvement. But you still eventually die, I'm guessing. It just takes a few turns that they give you to find the solution. Or do you no longer die at all? Because 
That really changes things. Start rolling just with the stupidest trolls and not having to worry about the extended game. So that's definitely, yeah, specifically I find when I played trolls back in the day. Trying to take trolls into the extended game is where I ran into most of those issues. But that was quite a long time ago. Many, many versions passed for sure. And we're getting real lucky on the forms these shapeshifters are taking. Like, that hasn't been too shabby at all. And we should be able to clear through this room, keeping a close eye on the health pools of our friends, but not too shabby. Oops. Definitely want that cloak, but interrupted it slightly too late here. In fact, let's read an identify scroll. Maybe we won't even bother picking it up. Plus one cloak with two pips of resist fire and in plus five. I will take that over our Scarf of Shadows here, even though the Scarf of Shadows has been potentially reducing our damage intake over the last little bit. Something like the Cloak of Shadows or the Scarf of Shadows is really huge for if you're going like mega ziggurat hunting or something like that. Needs some way of reducing the number of enemies that can slam you at any given moment. But I think it just paralyzes you periodically or slows you down and you get a couple penalties based on which stat is below zero. Oh, that's cool. A bit more situational and kind of thematically fitting to the, the stat. That makes sense because they definitely have done quite a few passes just trying to get most get rid of most of the um, instant kill mechanics. Because that's the thing. I still remember the days when, like, deep water, you could, I'm pretty sure... Back in the old days, you could get confused next to deep water and then drown yourself. Now the game stops you from walking when you're next to deep water. Trying to save lives. But in those original days, you also could accidentally equip a cursed club and starve to death because you weren't able to cut up meat at all, and that was an important part of the game. So. Big changes have been made, and I'm happy with most of them for sure. Because that was not a fun way to lose your run. It's slow and painful. Though at least usually happened early enough at the very least. Okay, seen some skills level up. Good reminder to check in on these bad boys. Shields is getting up there. Probably just about ready to switch to the tower shield. Maybe we should even just switch to a tower shield at this point. We'll be dealing with some slight penalties, but not too shabby, really. Or not too much, rather. But maybe we'll leave things alone for now. We're just about to hit some of the caps that we've been aiming for, so... Pretty happy with where the skills are at, for the time being. Why stop it being unable to cut up meat? Why not kill you for not being able to go to the restroom in Cursed Armor? Hey, careful, you bring up a good point there. <laughs> Might have it in a, a future update. <laughs> Fortunately, those days are long gone. In fact, I've, in general, I've been pretty happy with all of the, the general trend of the development to take out a lot of the kind of more tedious aspects like that. And Vaults 4. Oh boy, I can't believe we're already on Vaults 4. We're also converting orcs like mad down here. There are only a few places where you can find yourself able to find new friends. This is one of them here. Which is also um, one of the nice really part the, one of the nice really parts. One of the really nice parts. There's the right order of words there. About our situation right now is that we are at max PD, so I am hoping that we run into some real strong orc friends. I mean, oh, maybe I should have been paying attention. Okay, no, I don't need to bring this orc back to life. They had a horrible sword. I think they were just a warrior, too. Hmm. But we'll keep it moving. Actually, yeah, I'm trying to think back so many years ago to when I first started playing DCSS and all the kind of mechanics that have changed. Specifically, I guess, I'm thinking more on these, uh, the curse mechanics that we've been 
Chen vote because were you unable to change rings if you had cursed gloves? That sounds like something familiar to me, but I don't know. That could be mixing up games for sure. This is going pretty snazzy. I was worried for all my crew for a moment there, but we managed to keep all the dragons pointing in our direction. No, there were some really fun, yeah, flavor mechanics in the original DCSS. Throwing potions of poison at enemies, or uh, distilling an enemy's body into a poison to throw at future enemies. Very cool thematically, but... From a gameplay perspective, it got a little painful and was super difficult for new players to the series, which we always want new players coming in. It's fun to share these games with people. What happened to most of my orcs there? I think they just turned around a corner. Or did he recall my own? I don't know, he recalled in a bunch of orcs that immediately joined my side, which is extremely unfortunate for that Convoker, but I'll definitely take it. No complaints on my end. And yeah, we are, again, gaining mass on our army here, getting to the point where I cannot safely pay attention to everyone and we're definitely going to start losing friends but for now i think it's still manageable Ooh, vaults four complete oh boy that is exciting really gonna have to start thinking of where we want to head for our final third rune here could do vaults five just for fun because I'm pretty sure the strategy on a hill arc for Vaults 5 is simply park your army at the top of the stairs and stair dance literally everything. Especially, we have decent throwing, only 15 javelins, but we are able to smite any of the uh, Vault Wardens who lock the stairs on us and prevent us from going upstairs. So instead, we'll just have to be keeping an eye out for anyone that has like constriction, or any dragons knocking us off of the stairwell. Hmm. Definitely something to keep in mind. We might not hop straight down into the the chaos here. I'm also going to drop that ring. The star telly effect is pretty brutal because it teleports you straight into monsters most of the time, if not all the time. So maybe we'll leave that alone for the time being. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess we should see what this other ring does. Cursed Ring of Teleportation. I thought it might be a negative one because we've been getting most of the good ones. Also just <laughs> spit a little there. Whoops. That's why this nice little guard on the mic, I guess. That makes sense. Absolute animal like me at the helm here. But 